In this video, we're going to have a look at how to find the Cartesian equation of a polar curve. So take any general point on a polar curve, let's say that one there. We know that the distance from the origin to the point is called R. Let's label that. And we know that the angle made with the initial line, i.e. the positive x-axis, we call that the initial line in polar curves. We're going to call theta. So this has polar coordinates, r and theta. And we want to find the Cartesian coordinates of a general point. Well, much like resolving forces in mechanics, we know that the x distance to the point is r cos theta, and the y distance is r sine theta. So the x coordinate is equal to r cos theta, and the y coordinate is equal to r sine theta. So there are two useful facts to remember. x equals r cos theta, y equals r sine theta. Another useful fact to learn. Now if we square x and y, we get x squared equals r squared cos squared theta, and y squared equals r squared sine squared theta. Adding both sides together, we get x squared plus y squared equals r squared sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, which we know is equal to 1. Therefore, we can deduce that r equals the square root of x squared plus y squared, remembering that for the purposes of A-level, r can only be positive. So there are three things to remember. Remember this, x equals r cos theta, this, y equals r sine theta, and this, r equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. They're the three facts that you need to know to be able to find the Cartesian equation of a polar curve. So let's now have a go at an example question. So this question says the equation of a curve in polar coordinates is r equals sec theta plus tan theta, where um, theta can lie between 0 and pi over 3 find a Cartesian equation of the curve. So we're going to use the three facts that we just derived. So x equals r cos theta, y equals r sine theta, and r equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. That's all we need to be able to do this. So first of all, we can replace this r. We can get rid of that by calling it root of x squared plus y squared. So root of x squared plus y squared equals sec theta plus tan theta, i.e. equals 1 over cos theta plus sine theta over cos theta. Now the next thing we can do to eliminate sine theta and cos theta is rearrange these here. So, we've got x equals r cos theta implies that cos theta equals x over r. And y equals r sine theta implies that sine theta equals y over r. So now we can replace those in the equation. So we've got root of x squared plus y squared equals and 1 over cos theta is r over x. Cos theta is x over r. So 1 over cos theta is r over x. Plus sine theta over cos theta. So plus y over r times. So sine theta times 1 over cos theta is times r over x again. And the r's cancel. Which means that the square root of x squared plus y squared equals r over x. Now remember this fact here, we can eliminate r by calling it root of x squared plus y squared. So root of x squared plus y squared over x plus y over x. And it didn't ask us to simplify, it just said find a Cartesian equation. So that's it done. It really is as simple as that. So how about we do another one going the other way, actually taking a Cartesian equation and turning it into a polar equation. The question says the equation of a curve is x squared plus y squared, take x, 
plus root of x squared plus y squared? Well, instantly from the facts we derived earlier, we can recognize this here as being r, and this here as being r squared. So we get r squared, take an x we identified as being r cos theta. So r squared minus r cos theta equals r. Now take all the r's over to the right hand side, which means that r squared equals r cos theta plus r. So r squared equals r cos theta plus 1. Dividing by r, we get r equals 1 plus cos theta. And again, it really is as simple as that. So those three facts, if you remember them, will get you through any question like this. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.